Imagine the response Leo Lambert received in 1928 when he told friends and acquaintances he was going to construct an elevator shaft to descend 420 feet through solid limestone, straight into the heart of Lookout Mountain. Elevators are commonplace today, but in the 1920s they were rare, mysterious, and well, not entirely trustworthy. His announcement came after a decade of researching various ways to access Lookout Mountain Cave, a cave whose entrance had been sealed off long before by the railroad when they extended their line with a tunnel through Lookout Mountain. His unlikely solution set off a chain of events that ultimately led to the discovery of Ruby Falls. You would be correct to guess that excavating an elevator shaft in 1928 through 420 feet of solid limestone was not an easy or an inexpensive task. Engineers from the Birmingham, Alabama company Salmon & Cohen were hired to complete the project at a cost of $25,000. Work on the shaft began November 1, 1928 and progress was slow but steady as crews drilled around the clock in three eight-hour shifts descending five feet every 24 hours. More than 15,000 pounds of dynamite was used to blast through the stone creating a plunging cavity that measured 7.4 feet by 8.3 feet and 420 feet deep. Workers were lowered into the shaft in a large bucket with a pulley system. Bells were used to call for the bucket and announce it was being lowered or risen in the dark shaft. The manpower bucket system was also used to remove many, many tons of loosened limestone from the shaft. Most of the stone was later used to construct the beautiful limestone Ruby Falls Castle. After the excavation was finished, crews spent 11 months constructing the steel frame of the shaft before a modern and high-tech for its time elevator was installed, costing $20,325. The Westinghouse elevator traveled at a speed of 500 feet per minute. The modern elevator was powered by a 40 horsepower electric motor with a backup generator equipped with a 60 horsepower gasoline engine. Leo explained to a Chattanooga Times reporter in February 1929 that a safety device will render it impossible for the elevator to fall or stop operating under any circumstances. The elevator, like all elevators at that time, was manually operated with a throttle instead of buttons and the elevator operator would slow the elevator down to a stop at its destination. Leo was proud to announce, this is the only true cave in the world that will be reached by an elevator, and proclaimed, the Westinghouse Company has taken special pride in their product for this installation, which will be one of the most unusual they have ever made. Leo Lambert had done what most people declared was impossible. The elevator accessing the cave was not only the first in the world to descend through a cave, it's also the tallest elevator shaft in Chattanooga, and that record still stands today. Thanks for joining us and taking a look back at some remarkable history of Ruby Falls. And tune in next week for another vintage moment at Ruby Falls.